Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain how to solve problem D, multiple test cases from the educational code for Citroen ATC. In this problem, we are asked to assign some values of the arrays test cases such that we respect some conditions and the number of test cases created is as small as possible. Namely, the hardest condition to respect is that C1 namely the number of test cases with arrays of size greater or equal to 1 is at most some given value which is bigger than 2 and so on up to CK and we need to find a way to assign the array of tests such that we respect the condition now I managed to come up in the contest with some Nice and intuitive idea, and I hope you will like it. Let's move to explain. So basically, let's say we have the first sample, which has the sizes 1, 2, 2, 3, and the limits are 4, 1, 1. And these are the sizes. I'm going to create a frequency array which will tell me how many tests have size equal to each number from 1 to k. This means we have 1 to 1 and the limits are 4, 1, 1. Now I'm going to try to see which is the smallest uh, number of test cases we need to add in order to be able to fill everything here it turns out that we can actually finally search this value since if we add more test cases we are going to have even more spaces and if we can do it with t test cases we can definitely do it with t plus one test case here i'm going to explain how will the approach work for some step of the binary search Namely, at some step x, I'm going to multiply the values in the second array, the limit array, by x. So, in the first test case, if x is equal to 3, we are going to have 12, 3, 3. And the prefix sum of this array, excuse me, the suffix sum of this array will be 1, 3, 4. As you can see, there is no position where the number of Array, the second array is bigger than the number of possible slots from the first array. So this means the answer can be easily found with binary search. Now, the only problem we are left to solve is to find a suitable construction which will help us solve the problem. Apparently, it turns out that if we process the sizes from right to left, namely from the bigger size to the smaller size we can assign them in a balanced way and it will always work namely if we have k arrays or x arrays we can assign to 1 2 3 1 2 3 and repeat the pattern like if we are left here we will start from here and it works every time now I'm going to move to the implementation to explain how I did it. Here, as you can see, I have read the input and added one to the frequency array of each number. Also, I have read the values of the limit. Now for some step of the binary search, I'm going to check the first property. Namely, if the value of the prefix sum at some step is bigger than the maximum number of slots we have up to some position. If this works, then we can get the answer equal to a given size. Otherwise, we need to try bigger sizes. Now, I'm going to call another function which will help me reconstruct the answer. In this function, I compute once again the limit. But eventually it turned out that I don't need it. And uh, here I'm fixing the position. And if I don't have anything up to position i, I just 
continue. Otherwise, I'm assigning problems to given positions in a cyclical manner. Like if, let's say, I stop at position 2, I'm going to start again from position 3, or I'm going to start from position 1 if we have only two test cases. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button in order to be the first one to get notifications about my other videos. Also, you can join the Discord server in order to have more interaction with me and with other competitive programmers. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck and goodbye.